for other classes. So the news of the approach of the procession ran ahead of it. And in their little dark offices, the pearl buyers stiffened and grew alert. They got papers out so they could be at work when Kino appeared and they put their pearls in the desks for it is not good to let an inferior pearl be seen beside a beauty. And word of the loveliness of Kino's pearl had come to them. I'm just gonna box that in and word of the loveliness of Kino's pearl had come to them. I mean, they put all the pearls away in their offices so that when you put Kino's pearl against some of the other pearls they had in their offices, it, you know, it wouldn't shame their pearls because Kino's is so nice. Uh, the idea that there's, there's a procession that is going along with Kino and Juana as they go to sell their pearl. I mean, people know this is an, an historic day. I don't have very nice handwriting. I'm just doing some summarizing here. I made two marks. I tend to make little arrows as part of my, my active reading. Uh, the pearl buyers offices were clustered together in one narrow street and they were barred at the windows and wooden slats cut out the light so that only a soft gloom entered the offices. A stout man sat in his office waiting. His face was fatherly and benign, benign meaning like innocent or even harmless. And his eyes twinkled with friendship. He was a caller of good mornings, a ceremonious shaker of hands, a jolly man who knew all jokes and yet who hovered close to sadness for the midst of a laugh, he could remember the death of your aunt and his eyes could become wet with sorrow for your loss. One of the prompts in the, in, the, in the margin here, you know, your first impressions of the pearl buyer, you know, from, I, I'm not sure, you know, is it sincere, nice guy stuff? Good morning. He's one of those people. He does a lot of handshaking. I don't know. That's all I wrote. And this is a carrot. I'm kind of like encompassing some text right here. This morning he had placed a flower in a vase on his desk, a single scarlet hibiscus, and the vase sat beside the black velvet lined pearl tray in front of him. He was shaved close to the blue, blue roots of his beard and his hands were clean and his nails polished. This bold hands just means that it's the first word on page 48. His hands were clean and his nails polished. His door stood open to the morning and he hummed under his breath while his right hand practiced ledger domain. I just remember that we this was that idea of sleight of hand. And if I remember correctly, he's, he's good at it, better than, I, better than we all were trying to practice that coin trick. He rolled the coin back and forth over his knuckles and made it appear and disappear and spin and sparkle. I, you know, these words right here, appear, disappear, spin, sparkle, it just, you know, He's good at it. It's not moving at a snail's pace across his knuckles as you try to fit it in the crevices between your fingers. The coin winked into sight as it quickly slipped out of sight and the man did not even watch his own performance. Mr. Stratton? Yeah. Can you turn up the, um, like, not the, the paper, please? We can't see the bottom. The top or the bottom? Like the bottom of it. Oh. Thank you. Sorry about that. The fingers did it all mechanically, precisely. This idea that precision, you know, he's, he's, he's very good with this coin trick. While the man hummed to himself and peered out the door. Then he heard the tramp of feet of the approaching crowd. And the fingers of his right hand worked faster and faster as the figure of Kino filled the doorway, the coin flashed and disappeared. 
know, as the crowd approaches, he starts working faster and faster with the coin. I, I don't know if it means like he's anxious about this deal that might go down with Kino. It's like how some people kind of like bite their fingers. Yeah. It, some sort of nervous tick, right? And he says, he is a caller of good mornings. He says, good morning, my friend. You know, he's trying to get, it feels like he's trying to get on Kino's good side. I don't know that he knows Kino that well. I don't know what to say about this, but I'm just going to write my friend, question mark. What can I do for you? I mean, he's asking a question. He already knows why Kino is there. He's already heard about the loveliness of, of Kino's pearl. So when he says, what can I do for you? It feels, I'm not sure I'm gonna spell this right. It feels ingenuine or insincere maybe even. Kino stared into the dimness of the little offices for his eyes were squeezed from the outside glare, but the buyer's eyes had become steady and cruel and unwinking as a hawk's eyes. And it just feels like this dude is ready for business. Yeah, he might be a caller of good mornings and friendly and using the word my friend, but this is his business look right here. And secretly behind his desk, his right hand practiced with the coin. You know, the coin becomes like a big thing at some point, you know, it's like the fourth time just on this little section that Steinbeck has even mentioned it. I have a pearl, said Kino. And Juan Tomas stood beside him and snorted a little at the understatement. You know, I, I like this, that Juan Tomas, his brother, his right-hand man in this case, <laughs> Kino says, I have a pearl, and Juan Tomas snorts. Like, <laughs> it's not just a pearl, it's, it's the pearl, the pearl. This is going to be a little bit longer because he knows it's more than just some ordinary pearl. And the neighbors peered around the doorway and a line of little boys clambered on the window bars and looked through several little boys on their hands and knees watched the scene around Kino's legs. I mean, this is the, all the people who have come to see Kino sell his pearl. I mean, it's standing room only, so much so that little boys, if they want to get a look at this historic moment in the town, they're like crawling around on the floor, hanging around Kino's knees and feet just to see if they can see this historic moment. And I'm just going to write, see this history. Now, I've made a lot of marks on this page, as you can see. Um, there is quite a bit going on. Um, in my mind, having read this book a number of times, it, it's going to work a little bit differently than yours. You're aiming for a dozen marks in the text and in the margin in order to, number one, respond to the prompt that you get at the top but also any other connections that you might make. We're trying to see through the subterfuge of the pearl buyer's deceit and spot moments or evidence where, yeah, it seems really obvious that Kino's pearl is, is of value. I'm gonna try to zoom out of this. You are responsible for the same sort of activity in price negotiation one, all the way through price negotiation continued Four, probably about, it ends up being about four packet pages, maybe five total novel type pages. Questions? <laughs> 